In this video, we have two uh, topics. One is finding the missing the side length of a right triangle and an application problem. So here's what we give you. We give you a right triangle. It has an angle theta. The side opposite of theta is called the opposite. Side adjacent is between the 90 degree angle and theta. And then we have the side hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. What we're trying to find out is what is that length of the hypotenuse. And we can't use the Pythagorean theorem because Pythagorean theorem, we have to at least know two sides, and we don't. So we're going to look at the two sides we're working with. We're working with the hypotenuse and the opposite. So we come over to our big three equations over in this gray chart, and we're looking for the one that has the opposite and the hypotenuse in it. So here is the opposite, and here is the hypotenuse. So we're going to work with the sine function equation. So I'm going to write up the equation, the sine of theta equals opposite over the hypotenuse. Now we substitute in what we know, the sine of theta, and theta is 45 degrees equals opposite, which has a length of 20 units, and a side hypotenuse, which is unknown. That's our x. And we're going to solve this equation for x. So the first thing we want to do is we want to multiply both sides by x to get that x gone. So I say the sine of 45 degrees, 20 over x, and now we multiply the right side by x and the left side by x. The nice thing about that now is my x's will cancel on the right-hand side. Now I have x times the sine of 45 degrees equals 20. Now I continue wanting to solve for x. So I want to undo that sine of 45 degrees. So now I'm going to divide both sides by the sine of 45 degrees. And the sine of 45 degrees will cancel on the left. We're left with x equaling 20 over the sine of 45 degrees. Now we need to use our calculator. Please make sure that you are in degree mode when you use your calculator. And we're going to say 20 divided by the sine of 45. I'm just going to finish off that parentheses. And it says x is approximately... 28.28 units. That's how long the length of that hypotenuse is. Here's an application problem. I kind of set up the triangle for you. Uh, 12 meter flagpole. So here's our flagpole here on the right. That's the height of it. Cast a 9 meter shadow. So here's our shadow over here. Find the angle of elevation with the sun. Here's our cute sun over here. All right, we want to find out what is this angle of elevation? What is our theta? Our theta is unknown. So we're going to use right triangle tree again with our big three. Look at the um, opposite is the 12 units, and the shadow of 9 is called your adjacent. And we want to choose the appropriate um, equation within the big three. So opposite and adjacent over here in our, tri or our three pieces, opposite and adjacent would be tangent. Opposite, adjacent is tangent. So I'm going to write down what that equation is. The tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent. How you remember that again is from SOHCAHTOA. Toa. So now we plug in what we know. The tangent of theta equals opposite, which is 12 meters, over adjacent of 9 meters. And what we have is a fraction. We want to find out what can that angle be. So if you remember, to find the angle, you have to use inverse trigonometry. So you say tangent inverse of, and then 12 over 9. 
We want to find this in degree measure. So we go second tangent, 12 divided by 9, and we get approximately 53.13 degrees is the angle of elevation for this triangle. About 53 degrees.